Welcome to this TechView podcast. And in this TechView podcast, I will show you Enzo OS, an operating system that I already chose as the distro of the week in my audio podcast. And this time around, I want to show you this like yeah, hybrid of XFCE meets Mac OS based upon Ubuntu 20.04 LTS release. So let's take a look at the desktop itself. You can see here, if I open up the terminal, it has nice animations and it has some kind of Mac look. It comes with the uh, Ubuntu based 20.04 LTS release, as you can see here. And uh, this is the brand new release uh, that Ubuntu um, also has as long-term support. So you can uh, also use this properly uh, then probably also a few years with updates uh, coming from Ubuntu. It's based on, up on XFCE, but you can see here the window, it has some uh, macOS styling for maximizing, minimizing and closing. And you have a menu on top. Let me show you this in the file manager Dolphin. You can see it's always a menu on the top. So if I go here on help and click on about, you can see it is opening up the about Thuna window. So this is pretty handy. Thuna is the file manager, the default of XFC. Then we have some uh, other icons in here, network manager, volume control, battery, um, calendar, and of course the option to uh, just, just, just simply log out, shut down, restart the operating system. Yeah, XFCE is used as a desktop, but it uses some nice effects in here, some nice uh, graphics. And uh, this is based upon, uh, if you minimize, for example, this is based upon a new window manager they took from Elementary OS. So if we go in here, you can see the nice effects for minimizing and uh, maximizing. And also it has uh, the option to switch uh, different desktops. And here you can see clearly it is taken from Elementary OS, the window manager. You can switch between virtual desktops in here by clicking either down there or right up here and uh, yeah go to a new desktop and i can launch applications down here so this is more windows like though the menu is yeah appears here in the middle and there's some applications like puzzle game collection graphics document scanner and Restretto image viewer only and uh, under internet firefox web browser well, the basics basically and uh, it does not ship with a mail client even though it's called mail reader here if you click on this it's just showing there's no email client installed so it's I don't know why. Under Office, there's only the uh, document viewer, Atrial document viewer, which is pretty interesting. I think this Atrial document viewer, let me take a look at, is from the Mate or Mate desktop. Yeah, exactly. It's a clone of Evince document viewer that usually GNOME ships with. And uh, yeah, uh, there are some other applications. You can see Office applications, uh, LibreOffice is missing. We have some uh, preferences here, or sounds and audio, sounds and video. Uh, Pulse Audio, Parole, Media Player, and XF Burn, uh, Boca Screen, and Audacity I uh, installed by myself and some system tools here as well. And uh, let me just show you how to install applications. They ship with their own tool called AppHive. So instead of a software center, GNOME Software Center, for example, or the Ubuntu Software Center, they use AppHive. I think it is the one from Elementary OS. It's a bit of uh, slow in loading time here for me for some reason, but in general, it's a nice um, little software center. You can see some apps here like OpenRR, uh, OpenRA Evolution. You can see here it is showing uh, some stars, but also the source. So Debian, for example, here. Uh, so it's a Debian package. And if I click on Libre uh, Office Impress, you can hear here, see the star system, you can install it, you can see the manufacturer, you can see the version number, some screenshots you can go through, and uh, extensions, as well as some other applications from the same manufacturer. And of course, you also, if you go back, you have the option to see always where the source is coming from, like Debian, it shows here. But if I want something different, uh, it's not showing this right now, uh, Sublime Text, for example. If I click on this, you can see that this is a snap package. So it shows down here snap and it's a proprietary package even. And uh, yeah, um, there are some nice little applications in here, like for example, also Telegram. Let me search for Telegram. It's a bit of slow, I don't know why, but usually it has a lot of applications, also proprietary applications that you can just simply install. 
Let me scroll down a bit here. You can see Telegram Desktop. There are even two versions inside. I think one is from the Package Manager Debian and the other one is the Snap one. The Snap one usually tends to be a bit more um, uh, newer. You can see Snap, Telegram Desktop. And uh, yeah, you have some very different categories that I think I stumbled upon a bug. It's not loading the categories here. So let me try to go to install instead. No, not loading. Let me go to search. Uh, now I'm back to search. It's a bit of slow. I don't know what's doing in the background. Maybe we have to delete the search. Let me delete the search and try it again. Yeah, now categories is working. And here I can go to media production, for example, and here you can see how I installed Audacity. I can go to install as well, which lists all the installed applications, and I have the option, of course, to update them. I can also manually check for updates here. So this is AppHive, pretty interesting application. What they have besides AppHive is also their own notes application. Uh, Pinny, I think it's called, and as you can see, it's open up, opening up some notes. You can change the color of the notes. You can change the title of a note if I want to, and uh, have some other options like creating new notes or deleting notes, and it will open the notes at the same spot they were last uh, appeared. Uh, so, yeah, this is pretty much uh, everything. We can go to Firefox here. Uh, we can also go, ah, they have a nice little uh, welcome application that greets you at first start. Let's close Firefox here. Uh, you can see Enzo OS uh, 040 singing Sunflower. And if you click on uh, get started, it has also some nice uh, little things like edit user details. You can set up username, change system settings, so full fledged XFCE system settings with uh, additions to color profiles and also additional drivers like Wi-Fi or uh, proprietary, proprietary NVIDIA drivers that you can install here, as well as some other applications like Software Updater that will also automatically start on every start and remind you of updating your software. And installed applications again, you can go to AppHive here, but also they have Learn Enso, which will open up the website with some nice tutorials and an overview about the Enso OS. You can see some nice little uh, things here, the, the, the Plank, uh, Docker, uh, a bit outdated here. You can see GNOME Software Center still in the screenshot and they're using AppHive right now. But in general, I think it's pretty uh, neat and nice to have uh, such a tutorial. And for such a young project, I think it's good that they have some documentation in here. And if you yeah, care to join the team, you can uh, join the conversation here. You can try to ask uh, the developers and you can uh, talk on Gitter with them and also with the community around EnzoS, which is, I think, also pretty nice and handy. Yeah, that's basically everything for this little overview of Enzo S040. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and until the next time. Bye.